Scorpios. What's up, guys? And thank you guys so much for tuning in and being here with me today. Before I hop in for you guys' this reading, let me just say, y'all are one of the most resistant signs I get when I do my readings. Like, the past two readings, I felt so much resistance in you guys' energies. I don't know what y'all are going through, but it's like you guys are really resisting a lot and you need to release that, all right? Because it's just like having you guys like scattered, like you can't focus and you're not getting ahead. It's like it's keeping you in a space. So I was definitely getting that, but let's get in. This will be for Sun, Moon, and Rising um, in Scorpio as well as Venus. So if you have those... If you have Scorpio in any of those places, this could be your message. I do recommend checking out your sign as well as writing videos as well for additional messages. You guys know due to, I can't even talk, take what resonates, leave what doesn't, all right? So let's get in, Scorpio. I had to tell y'all that, okay? This is for the first half of February. So the first through the 15th. Y'all have been so resistant. Y'all energy has been so resistant. All right. So this is interesting. 21 came out. Your own path. So this says, I follow my own unique path with courage and strength. And this is a woman. She's like in a forest. Um, she's holding up. She has like two crystals. She's holding up a light and it's lighting up her path. She's around trees. And this is telling you guys that you are in a space right now where three twenty one breaks down to a three. Three is all about taking action. So you're in a space where you are being guided to your own path and you guys are on your own path. And I feel like things are finally lighting up for you guys. You guys have number five root chakra on the bottom of the deck for your overall energy. So this is interesting. Five is all about change. I see red here. Red is all about passion to me. And the root chakra that says, I have everything I need to survive and grow on this physical plane. So this is interesting. I don't know if y'all can see it because I have the blinds open. But with this root chakra, this is all about your groundedness, getting balance, you know, your stability, your home, um, your foundation. So you guys are definitely going through, going through transformations and a lot of shifts. And it's bringing you towards your own path. But you guys definitely need to um, know that you do have everything that you need. All right. To survive. So I feel like you guys are in definitely like in survival mode at this at this time. You know, really trying to get yourself back grounded, back balanced, back stable. So you guys definitely could be doing a lot of um, moving around at this point period like the root chakra is all about like your home okay i'm not gonna take cards off the ground but let's get a card from our um, moonology deck so this is interesting two cards came out for you guys you and your loved ones are safe new moon and cancer so some of you guys could be connected to a cancer but this is also just telling you you know some of you guys could have been concerned about your family yourself maybe the people around you this is letting you know that you guys are safe so while you travel and journey on your path know that you are protected as well as your loved ones all right and then we do have the energy is gaining momentum so things are changing things are shifting and i feel like you guys are a little bit resistant to this i also feel like you guys are in a space where you need to get grounded get your stability together because things are shifting the energy is gaining momentum and look, a fiery climax approaches full moon in Aries. So some of you guys could be dealing with an Aries, but this is letting me know that with this moon, we're about to have a um, full moon in Leo on February 8th. Being that it's in one of the fixed signs, the fixed signs are um, Scorpio. So you guys, Taurus, Leo, and Aquarius. We're in Aquarius season and this moon is about to be in Leo. It's a lot of fixed energy. So this is gonna be some, some permanent, permanentness and whatever that's happening you guys are also needing to stand your ground and stand firm trust in your path and get yourselves grounded and balanced so that's what i'm getting first for you guys some of you guys need to step outside of your comfort zone 
Stop doing things that you're comfortable with. Some of y'all keep doing the same things that you're just comfortable with, but it's not really your path. You're just comfortable. So let's see. If y'all are listening to headphones, sorry. All right, so we got permanent energy on the bottom of the deck. So you guys are definitely in a space right now where you're doing a lot of introspecting, going inside. Could be meditating, praying a lot more. You guys are in a space where you're definitely not really feeling sociable, maybe wanting to stay to yourself and definitely doing a lot of observing. Yeah, four swords here. So you guys definitely need to do some resting. You guys are definitely healing, not a lot of communication, but this is also nurturing and mothering yourself you can see like this woman is curled up in a fetal position in like a nest some of you guys are literally nesting like you just want to you know be inside clean up pinnacles here nine of swords two of wands and queen of swords queen of cups the wheel so Pisces had these two cards in different positions. You guys could be connected to a Pisces, definitely, because the high priestess came out. Or Cancer, the cherries on the bottom of the deck. So you guys are definitely being pulled in a lot of different directions. I feel like emotionally, some of you guys, this could be regarding your vehicle. Maybe you guys are getting new cars. I feel like a lot of you guys could be traveling. But right now, you really need to be resting and doing a lot of meditating and connecting to your higher self because your intuition is wanting to reach you guys and guide you and that's on your path all right some of you guys could be connected to a pisces maybe someone is kind of helping you heal right now during this time period i feel like you guys are coming out of a space in the past where you were just really in your head a lot a lot of mental energy a lot of you know stressness this person is outside with a pillow and a robe some of y'all literally like felt like you were just out there in a the cold Stressed out, worried, you know, staying up at night. But you guys are coming out of that energy space. I feel like a lot of you guys are in a space where you are nurturing yourself. Some of you guys could be connected more with your mother. Could be connected to a Capricorn Taurus or a Virgo. Gemini's here as well. You guys are just taking action. Maybe you were dealing with someone who was dealing with two people. Maybe you were worried about a soulmate connection or making an important decision. So let's see this amount of swords in the past. What is going on here for my Scorpios? Knight of Wands. So yeah, like I said, a lot of resistant energy in the past readings in this session. Is that y'all were worried in your head a lot, kind of stressed out. And it's like, I feel like it was on and off. Like one minute you were good, you know, you were focused, you were tuned in. The next minute, it's like you're all over the place, not balanced emotionally, not sure of your path. King of Pentacles here with the Emperor. So some of you guys were definitely connected to a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or Aries, or Taurus. And you were want, wanted to take action with this person, wanted to be in a committed relationship with this person. Like this was your Ten of Cups. But at the same time, I feel like it was just something that just moved too fast. You guys could have moved too fast or could have did something too fast. But let's see. Yeah, so Queen of Pentacles here. We have the Nine of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, and Ten of Cups that came out. So a lot of you guys were nurturing, loving with the situation. At the same time, you guys were still kind of in a single space when it came to your mind. So you guys were loving, giving to this connection. You were dealing with someone that's very intuitive. You're very intuitive as well. Very loving. Some of you guys could have like very, very nice complexion, high cheekbones, like to do like eye makeup only. But this is like someone who's loving, nurturing, giving. And you're very passionate about this person. But at the same time, someone was kind of acting single with the Nine of Pentacles energy. Some of you guys were needed to get your finances together. And that's what was kind of what you're focusing on now because you want to take action and go towards your ten of cups and the emperor popped out so some of you guys are definitely connected to an aries and you guys are like waiting this is interesting i see someone here like with a bob kind of like mine you guys have on your shoes she got on baby girl got on her turtleneck she's like waiting so you guys have been waiting to take action or waiting on commitment from someone 
I feel like where this person is, you guys are not speaking right now. But you're still connected intuitively. Or energetically. Yeah, you guys are going to be getting some truth or some clarity. And whatever this is, I feel like you guys are kind of stuck. Queen of Swords is here. So you guys definitely could have cut someone off. But what is coming in towards you? I feel like you guys are open. You're waiting for some communication. Like you made a decision about something, but you're still waiting to hear from someone. And you're kind of juggling on whether you want to cut them off or not. I feel like you guys are very defensive. Like even if this person tries to come in and talk to you guys, you're going to be very, very like defensive. For some of you guys, you're just like really standing your ground and not communicating or someone could be standing their ground with you six of swords here yes so you guys are definitely debating whether you want to move forward from someone or whether you want to wait because you want to communicate with them but right now where you guys are emotionally we have the four cups and the five of cups so you guys are definitely you went through a period of sadness and it's not even funny but you have a period, of, you went through a period of like, okay, you were waiting for their offer, you're feeling rejected, feeling kind of bored, and then you didn't get an offer, and then it moved to this five of cups where, or this could be someone that's connected to you guys. But whatever the energy is, then someone started feeling just sad, remorseful, regretful, hurt. And then there was a lot of like harsh communication, someone feeling kind of smug, like someone is intentionally holding back. So I feel like, for you guys, this is your energy. You guys have, like, release from the situation. You know, you kind of threw up your hands. Maybe this is someone's energy towards you. Could definitely be dealing with a Pisces cancer or another Scorpio. But let's see the Queen of Cups. Yeah, judgment. You've made a final decision. You're like, you know what? Whatever happens, happens. If this person comes back, I'll give them another chance. If they don't, whatever. But you guys are going to get an offer. And you've been waiting for this. This is interesting. I got the Queen of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, so you guys don't have to wait anymore. Wow. Re you guys are going to be reconciling. Maybe making up with someone. Someone is going to send you guys some communication and you're not expecting it. With the moon on the bottom of the deck. It could definitely be done with the Pisces. Pisces energy is definitely here. But it's like the wait is over. That's what I'm getting. Like, the wait is over. That's why I'm in this video. Like, the wait is over. Time is now. You guys are about to have the little fortune. Things are about to start going in your favor. You guys don't have to wait anymore. Yeah, the world. You're going into new cycles now. All right. And what did I say? This is that fixed energy. Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, as well as Leo. So, this is very interesting. You guys are definitely about to get some communication. You guys have definitely been waiting on this communication. You have a lot of options. And I feel like whatever the communication is that comes in, it's going to, like, put you in a space where you're going to be like, wow, like, you have so many different options that you're going to feel conflicted. But trust your intuition. Definitely. That's what I'm getting for you guys. But that's what I have for you guys. Y'all need to stop resisting. Okay, because I'm tired of it. <laughs> All right, but you guys do like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys.